Hi, and welcome to the Squeaky Clean Dave YouTube channel for all your tips, news, tricks and reviews on everything water-fed pole window cleaning and gutter sucking. A while ago, I did a video when I timed my homemade powered hose reel to see how fast I could wind in 100 meters, and I did it in 43 seconds. But that got me thinking, I'm sure I can do it better than that. And this is what, I'm, what I've done, I'm gonna show you today. For years, I used a manual hose reel, winding in and out, 100 meters of hose every day, loads of times each day, loads of stress on your arm, lifting it in and out of the van. And then my brother made a powered hose reel. So that's what I did. I made a powered hose reel and I came up with my Mark I. And that was really successful. I'm still using it today. Then a while later, Ziggy from Streamline sent me their stainless steel hose reel and asked me to do the same with that and I thought well I've already done that so I'm going to do seven improvements which is what I did and also that I still use that hose reel mark one was uh, is used if I've got anybody with me and then the mark two that's what I use every day and it's still working perfectly but after the last uh, the last video I did when I timed how fast I could wind in the mark two I thought I could definitely do this better and it got me thinking so if you follow me on Instagram uh, then you'll know that I've been working on this for quite a while now this has been the most time-consuming project I've ever done it's taken me absolutely ages and that's why I've been bringing out many videos uh, I've been working on this to try and get it the best I can so before I go any further we'll cue the build montage <laughs> So 
thank you to everybody on Instagram that came up with some fantastic names for the Mark III hose reel. Uh, and I'm going to reveal now what I called it, and it is Really McReel Face. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, there were some absolutely fantastic uh, names came up with it, but there was one that stood out to me straight away, and that's what I've gone with. So I'd like to introduce you to Insane Bolt. Mark III is now named Insane Bolt. So let's have a look at what we've done. Now, as you first notice, it is fully enclosed in a plastic housing. Uh, I did hear somebody saying that, that you shouldn't try and make a homemade reel because you could cut your fingers off, they're dangerous. No chance with this. It's a recycled plastic that's used in agriculture for stock boarding. Uh, really robust, easy to use, and uh, completely waterproof, so it's not like you're using wood, which would soak up water. But what if you need to get into it to change the hose or uh, the chain comes off or something like that. Well, what I've done, there's a panel on the back here that's held on with magnets and also the side panel is magnetic so that just easily comes off. So inside you can see I've built a complete frame out of Unistrut. Um, it's really easy to use, it bolts together ever so easily, nice and easy to cut, relatively cheap and uh, it makes a fantastic frame. Uh, because I've got the Unistruck frame, I was able to fit these pillow bearings. These are an inch and a sixteenth pillow bearing uh, and that will, call, that will make them the hose reel run a lot smoother than the usual plastic brushes it runs on. Because uh, it hasn't got the plastic bushes in, I've taken those out completely, I've been able to fit a sprocket with a smaller hole in the centre. The problem I'm having at the moment in sourcing sprockets is the hole in the middle is too small to fit over the, uh, the plastic brush that they normally run on. So unless you build a complete frame or you bore out the centre of the sprocket, uh, you'll have trouble getting them to fit these days. So what I've done to make it faster is I've fitted a bigger motor. The Mark II had a 250 watt motor and I've bumped this up to a 350 watt motor. So a much faster motor but it's also got more, more torque. Now because that's got more torque I've been able to change the gearing on the sprocket. So the old Mark I and Mark II had 60 teeth on the sprocket, this one's down to 47, so that should speed it up as well. But you can only do that because you've got the motor with the uh, more torque on it. I've fitted a tensioner, chain tensioner. Now the Mark I didn't have a chain tensioner, it did cause it to throw the chain every so often, so that is a, a definite bonus, the chain tensioner. But as you can see from the video I made, uh, I've had to rebuild the how, how it sits on completely because what it came with just didn't work. I did fit a remote control with a momentary switch on for safety and with that you press the button and it reels it in, you let go and it stops as soon as you let go of the button. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that to work properly with it. I don't know whether it was uh, a problem with the motor or whether it was a problem with the switch, but so I've got this one instead. This is the same as the one on the Mark II, so you press to start and press again to stop. Um, well, they work really well. It's been going on the, the Mark II for a long time now and I haven't had a single bit of problem with that, so I'm quite happy with these switches anyway. On the other side, I've also fitted the heavy duty swivel from Lee Martin of Bladerite. Right. Something I did on the Mark II was bolt the two sides of the reel together, especially if you're using hot water. When they, the hose expands and contracts, it can push the clover leaves apart. So I've put threaded bar right the way through and a nut on both sides of that and that really holds that solid, that clover, and it doesn't stop it, it stops it from pulling apart and going back together. It is a bit fiddly getting it so it's square, if you tighten up the one more than the other it can pull it in a bit or out a bit, so you do have to spend a bit of time getting that right, but I think that's the time it takes is definitely worth it. Also put a few lights in here just to make it look pretty, some nice green lights, uh, they should look good in the van, especially in the winter when it gets a bit darker, it looks really good on there. On the other side, there's a little switch and a little illuminated green switch and that turns the lights on and off. So, uh, nice little feature there if you don't want the lights on. 
so I'd just like to thank everybody that's helped me with this. I've had a lot of help with it. Um, I've had a lot of help from Austin, from AW Cleaning Services. Uh, he's given me a lot of the electrical advice on it and he also printed the stickers, the Insane Bolt sticker up for me as well. Uh, so thank you to Austin. Go over and check him out over on Instagram and on YouTube. I'll put a link to him below. I'll put a link to everything I've used in the description below if you want to have a look at that then uh, jump down there and have a look and you can see exactly what I've used. If you want to see how fast it goes, you're gonna to have to tune in to next week. Uh, I'm gonna do a speed test at some stage this week. I haven't actually done it yet. So what I want you to do is put a comment in below, say how fast you think the, the, speed, the hose reel is gonna go and uh, we'll have a bit of fun. See who comes up with the closest, how fast it will be to wind in. 100 meters of hose. I did it in 43 seconds with the Mark II. I'd like it to be a lot quicker with this. So uh, yeah, just put your comments in how fast it's gonna be. So if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notify button, and YouTube will let you know when I release a video. So they should let you know when I've released the speed test on this, which should be the week after this video's come out. So hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.